I, I, will, I will explain you the story of how to win investors, but you know, probably you expect some kind of golden formula you know, to, to, to attract investors and, and, and make, make a lot of money. And uh, there's, n there's n no golden formula to, to attract investors. Uh, or if there is any, you can probably Google it online and, and, and fi find so some structured content there. Uh, and I decided not to tell you what you can find on the web, but I decided to tell you an, I hope, interesting story uh, of how I get into here. Uh, of course, I didn't get into here by the bus. I, I took Uber. Uh, but my story starts with the bus. I arrived here to Warsaw uh, in 1997 uh, by bus. Uh, because I was hired by, uh, at the time it was ERA GSM, now it's T-Mobile. Uh, I worked there for uh, two years, then I, I jumped into Anderson Consulting. I was working there also in, in, in telecommunication department. I was responsible for projects in Middle East. And then, then I was working for also in the cons consulting department for, for Hewlett uh, uh, Packard here in Poland. And I was gathering experience. And as I was working in the uh, uh, telco departments, uh, I, I saw one opportunity, and I started my, my first uh, company, which was Telecom Media. Uh, it was in 2002. And I was, I was selling uh, multimedia content on mobile phones. It was like logos, ringtones, wallpapers, games, on everything on mobile phones. And uh, despite of the uh, 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 awful web page, I managed to, to sell uh, the company within two years after start starting it to, to investment funds. Uh, and then I was lost in space because for a couple of years, because I was involved in more, more than 50, 50 ventures after selling my first company starting from uh, uh, online copyrights management company through uh, a virtual assistant reminding of every important date through cashback companies, affiliate networks, e-commerce, uh, telecommunication companies. I was involved in, in, in all of this. Uh, but at that time, I was thinking that you know, it's always good to have a plan B. Because if one company, you know, if, if you're struggling with, with one company, you can always jump into another one. Uh, but fortunately, I started gaining uh, focus. First, with uh, my Bluetooth business, uh, I've built uh, a national network of uh, of. Uh, almost 400 locations, mostly in shopping malls here in Poland, uh, with Bluetooth devices sending, adver uh, sending ads to customers within the range of the, of the, of the device. The, the company was uh, growing. Uh, we, we, we were within the range of our network, the, uh, within the range of our devices. There was uh, four and a half million people uh, uh, within, a, within a year. We were sending like one million ads, uh, uh, location ads every, every month. The business was blooming. You know, the, the, the cash was flowing. Uh, we were making a lot of uh, ma money from, from this business. And then this guy came and shut down my business because he, he showed his fir first iPhone and you know, ev everyone went crazy about smartphones and the smartphone revolution started. And uh, none of the marketeers, they wanted to spend money uh, in Bluetooth advertising network. They all wanted to spend money uh, in mobile apps. So. <laughs> Rest in peace, Steve Jobs. Uh, if everyone wanted to spend money in, in, in apps, so I, I decided to, to build an app uh, which will be able to, uh, uh, to display or to, to, to send location-based ads because I, I knew that it was, it was something what, what the marketers were, were, were expecting. Um, within a certain location. So I've built an app uh, that uh, 
uh, that sends notification to, to, to friends nearby. Uh, that, 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 that someone, some of your friends are nearby, but without revealing your, your location. And the app was uh, very successful. We had like 100,000 downloads. It was downloaded in 80, con uh, 80 countries. You know, everything was, was growing uh, and was fine. And then this guy came <laughs> and he shut down my business. Because he said, you know, that in his in his app, you know, you probably know Facebook app. You, some of you are probably using it. Uh, he's implementing a, a functionality of uh, nearby friends notifications without revealing their locations, and you know, sounds very similar to to, to mine. <laughs> My, mine was like half a year earlier. Even they 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 look very similar. The notification, the notifications from from the app. So I still have uh, this app up and running, and uh, the, the business is still somehow uh, 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 ongoing. But uh, I, I, I'm, I'm aware that, that this will not, not, not go any, any farther, because this functionality is right now in the most popular app on Earth in Facebook. So this is the end of my story. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> of course not. Fortunately, in the meantime, I was building an advertising platform. Uh, since 2008, uh, and we, we were very successful, because we are not only building the, the, the advertising platform, but few customers, they were using it. We, we won 20% of the Polish advertising market. It was, it was ad server solution. So 20% of uh, all the display ads in Poland, they, were, they went through my technology. Uh, and the business was growing very fast. I, I, I had like this 20% of the, of the market share. Uh, everything was great. And now? <laughs> These guys, these guys came, and they they offer they offered very similar tool, uh, Google Double Click, uh, to customers. Let's say for almost nothing. So I, but fortunately, I didn't give up. Of course, it left a couple of scars on my face. Uh, but I learned from this few lessons uh, a couple of things. Fir first one, that I don't want to have a business that depends on a couple of uh, big customers. And the second one, that I want to have a business that has a little bit more strategic position for the future, not to be eaten by, by the, big, the, 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 big, the big guys. And I pivoted the, the advertising platform I, right, right now, I'm an I'm all-in-one advertising platform, which is actually a, a hub from which you can buy ads in all the different ad exchange networks. You can buy ads in Google, you can buy ads in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and m m much more private uh, networks. So first one, I pivoted this one. I pivoted also the, the Bluetooth business into free hotspot devices. Uh, these are these are the the the, the small devices, plug-and-play devices, which uh, from one from one side they uh, provide free Wi-Fi for for customers of in any location, but from the other side they gather very detailed data uh, about who is visiting your location. And uh, there's one more thing about this one. Uh, I th thanks to this device, I can, I can measure the impact of online marketing campaigns into physical locations. And as I said, I didn't want to have uh, big customers. So, so as, as I was into location, location uh, uh, ads business, uh, I decided to go uh, into the small business market 
because I saw that there's no tool available really for small business owners. There's a lot of companies claiming that they have a tool for small business, but they are not. They, they, they have tool like for 5% of the small business owners, which are not small business, but mid-sized uh, business, because they, 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 they don't, they are, they don't, they are don't, they, they don't know what, what is really like to be a small business. They, the small business owners, first of all, they don't want to be online experts. They want to focus on their business and let someone else do their online presence job. They don't know how to use Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, so expecting them to learn even a most simple drag and drop tool uh, to, 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 build, to build a web page or expecting them even to build a web page based on templates, it's not a solution. The web page has to be made by a human in a fully automated way. There are eight different competences involved when, when building online presence for a, for a company. So f first thing, they, they, don't, they don't want to be online experts, the small business owners. They want, what they want is they want new customers and sales leads, and they want to know how much they will pay in advance. That's why we've built a comprehensive solution for small business companies uh, which covers the whole sales funnel, starting from online advertising, then building a web page, and then delivering all the communication to, tools to the customers. Because if customers, if your customers, they see the 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 the, the, ad, the, the advertisement on on the web, they click it. They they must land on the on the web page. The web page has to sell your 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 product, and then they will probably want to contact your company. They can call your phone number, send you an email, uh, use live chat on your web page, or use uh, social social media, or send you a message uh, on 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 social media. So you need, you need a one tool that integrates all these communication channels with your customers, and this is what we what what, what we are delivering. And I thought that we well, what we are delivering, it's we comprehensive online presence for uh, uh, small business to optimize new customers and sales leads uh, acquisition. But I was wrong, uh, <laughs> because when I went to New York to the, uh, uh, the next web conference as an official selection, the bus program as a startup chosen from a, a, a couple of thousand startups there, I was one in 24. Uh, they told me in New York that what I do, it's not a comprehensive online presence for small business because it doesn't sound sexy. What I do is I do marketing automation, but not an ordinary marketing automation. I do marketing automa automation that understands small business because I've got deep insight of the, of the small, small business companies and knowing, knowing small business companies, I'm aware that I have, I can't deliver them any any tool that, that 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 they will have to learn. I will have to deliver deliver them a comprehensive solution which is guided. So what I what I do, it's a guided or first guided marketing automation that understands small business. I also learned what to show to the investors. Uh, to convince them that we are sexy. First of all, is a team. That we are not you know, a couple of guys who want to make a business. That we are 110 people company with very strong R&D, very strong production, and very strong sales department. They want also to see what is our traction. And our traction really is... Well, they were all impressed by the traction, and th th they were asking uh, whether it's you know <laughs> painted in 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 PowerPoint, and then then I was I was showing them that this, these are real data from from our platform. Uh, I showed them the the, the real data from from the uh, from the dashboard of, of of our system with which we are managing the the company. Another thing. Uh, we show them that within this period, we were testing our product 
with small business owners. We are testing what is their price fle flexibility. And here, it occurred that we know for how much we have to sell it to have the growth I, I show you on the previous slide. I also learned that you must show the structure of, of your costs, especially the sales and marketing, because if someone thinks that uh, you can have customers for, for nothing, he's wrong. So this, this is our structure for, for costs and, and production and, and support. And I also learned that you must show them how you can scale, scale up. That on every 1,000 customers, we make one, one million uh, slot uh, uh, in net profit. So this is for what I learned from, from New York, from my very short stay uh, there. <coughs> I also learned how to position my business uh, or how to show the strategic position of my business within, within the, the whole uh, internet ecosystem. And from, from one side, as you can see, this is this one, one very small picture. This is something what, what I painted. It's a Google Pac-Man you know, <laughs> who is you know, eating the dots. The dots are the, the middle, middlemen, because the real war uh, on the market right now, it's here, because Google position in search engine industry is, is, is threatened. It's threatened by, by all the intelligent assistants like Apple, Siri, Amazon Echo. Anyone knows Amazon Echo? Hands up. Okay, three person. Uh, or Facebook M. And they, they put their hand on customers' requests. And who will, who will build a first ultimate personal assistant? The company will win the customer requests. And <clears throat> all these companies, middlemen, like Yelp, Booking.com, Zogdog, uh, Znany Lekas here in Poland, uh, they, are, they are eating the, 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 the margin for these companies. And they want to get rid of every middleman, uh, and they want to connect the, the person looking for a service with a final uh, service provider, with a, con with a small business providing the, the service. That, that's why they are squeezing all the middlemen out, which you can see here on this uh, 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 graph. This is how yellow pages and web catalogs are going down in, 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 in Google, Google Trends. And where we position ourselves, we position ourselves on the small business side. We prepare the small business companies the way the Google expects them to, to be uh, prepared. Yeah. Uh, do you know the term uh, uh, connecting the dots? Yeah, probably anyone. This is connecting the dots. Uh, <clears throat> and there's a very nice uh, quote from Steve Jobs that you cannot connect the decks, uh, or you, you, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So. What I was doing my whole life, I was building dots or building components, uh, and they somehow connected uh, uh, now at the end of the, of the day. And uh, thanks to all those experience and, and, and companies' uh, uh, know-how I, I gather, I could, I could build a company uh, which is now very successful on the market. Thank you.